How's it going everyone? It's the old gaming blog here and I'm making a new series entitled Armor 3, a beginner's guide. First things first, um, if you're new to uh, Armor 3 Ulti's life and you really don't know too much about it, that's fine. Uh, I suggest you play Armor 3 normal campaign first to get acquainted with the game and then come to Ulti's life. So if you've done that, the first, menu, the first thing you should see when you join a server is the spawn selection. Now you got, as you can see, four major cities. Kavala, Pergus, Atra, and Sophia. For this demonstration and for my personal preference, I'm going to go to Kavala. So if I spawn there, as you can see, I'm in this place now. Now, and this is me. Now, this is my uh, main inventory, which I don't think I have anything at all. But this is not, your main inventory is not important here. What's important is, is your other inventory in this menu, which is if you press Y on your keyboard, it should give you this uh, player menu. And this is basically your menu here. So as you can see, uh, you got the weight, which does not necessarily mean uh, an amount of stuff. So for example, uh, I got zero weight right now, but if I were to pick up one item, my weight might go by up two or three or whatever. So uh, just to give you guys uh, an idea. Okay, licenses. Uh, this is all the licenses I have because I had this previously. I already bought all of these, but um, I might remove all these lines. I, I don't think I can though. Um, this is the money I have currently, but I don't think you spawn with this much money either. So, huh. I don't know because this is not a new character. I've been playing this around for a while, just obviously enough so I can tell you guys how to play. Anywho, first things first that you start in the game. Now, you're going to start with some money, not as much as I have right now, but you will start with some. So, what I suggest you do is go to a car shop. Okay, so just put a waypoint on a, on a mini map. In order to do that, press M to bring the map. And then press and hold left shift and uh, left click on whatever you want to go. And that will bring you to uh, that place. So anyways, as you can see, now I have a waypoint in my screen, which points to there. So 300 meters in that direction should give me um, to go to the car shop. Now, what am I going to do in the car shop, you may ask? Well, obviously, I'm going to get a car. Oh, also, if you look in the right center on the screen, you can see three things in there. And as you probably have guessed what they are, uh, the top one is the food meter, the middle one is the water meter, and the bottom one is your health. I will explain more of those as we go on, but they're pretty self-explanatory. You just got to keep in mind, you got to eat and drink uh, somewhat regularly. Not all too much. I don't think those meters really go down all that much. I think they're pretty well balanced in my opinion, at least so far. So they're not really all that great. They're not, uh, well, they're great, but they're not really all that uh, that much of a pain in the arse right now. Anyways, I'm at the car shop right now. And what I'm going to do? Well, obviously, I'm going to go buy a car or rent something. So first things first, you can get, you can have, as you can see, all of these items. So you can you have five choices here you have the from cheapest to most expensive you have the quad bike which as you can see the rental price is two and a half thousand or if you want to do ownership price is three thousand seven hundred and fifty now depending on how much money you spawn with which i don't remember how much it is exactly and how much money you can get every five minutes how much money is set on the server that you're playing on at the moment i would honestly suggest you just buy it this would definitely be the first vehicle we want. If you don't, if you can't buy it, if the prices are different, and if you have less money, then rent it. But I would considerably, honestly suggest you get. Uh, okay. Oh right, I don't have enough cash. So one thing I, you're gonna have to do in Altis Life, which I didn't explain, and I'm gonna have to now, is going to an ATM. This is an ATM, and uh, they are on the map all over the place. They look like these green kind of house symbols thing. Uh, if you go on it, uh, I'll get the bank and insurance. Uh, if you go into the ATM, you can either deposit or withdraw money. And you can have, let's say, I'm going to withdraw 5,000. Okay. That's it. I withdrew 5,000. And uh, I now have 5,000 pounds. Now, before you can buy the, the that truck or rent it, uh, depending again, depending on the server, you might need to buy or acquire a um a license a driving license now i don't think you can't you need it to drive this you might not need it but you might need it so just on the safe side i would say 
Uh, okay, since so I don't have enough money. Oh, right, I know what what went wrong here. Uh, when you buy this stuff, you need to you don't don't put anything. Just put don't put. Uh, yeah, that's it. So don't don't put any dots or or anything like that. Just just put the raw uh, amount of money. Anyways, quad bike. Buy it. That's it. Finally. And the vehicle should spawn nearby. Now, if you go to your menu now, uh, if you go on the keychain, you should see that you have a quad bike key. And uh, that's what you'll use to lock and unlock your vehicle. Now, if you press U on the vehicle from your keypad, it should lock it. Uh, if you press it again, it should the vehicle is now lock, locked and nobody else can, can have it. Okay, so let's just unlock this right now. Get into this quad. And the next thing you want to do in the game, now, I'm going to explain this uh, in my next video, which is going to be a bit more advanced, but for now, this is just pure basics, okay? There's ways to make money that are legal, and there's ways to make money that are illegal. Now, to begin with, it, to get yourself acquainted with the game, I'd say, do everything legally, okay? One of these things, for example, set the waypoint on the DMV. The first thing you should do is go to the DMV, and uh, buy yourself a license, okay, a driving's license. It costs only 500, and it can save you some hassle with uh, the police in the game. And yes, the game has actually police people. Um, there are people in the server. Anybody can be a police, as far as I know. Or again, depends on the server. Some servers might not allow you to to be a police officer immediately. But the idea is, you go and get yourself a license, which I'm in the wrong building. Yes, I am. It's kind of behind me. Uh, oh, there it is. So, if you go to the license shop, I don't think it's going to show for me because I already have it. And I honestly wish I could have just reset my character. I think I can, but I, I just... It's a bit too late for now. Uh, right, I just got myself a paycheck. Uh, how much was that? I don't know. I think it's 350 every five minutes or so. Anyways, nothing shows up on them because I already have everything. But the idea is you'll get uh, the driving license which costs 500. And then if you wait 10, 15, 20 minutes in the game... You'll get more money, which means that you'll be able to buy yourself uh, a vehicle anyways and stuff. So, yeah. Get your license, get a vehicle, and you must be asking, what's next? Well, next, it's uh, a way to make money in-game. So you can progress and do other stuff. Now, the grind in the game... Again, I'm playing on my own server, and that's why I'm on my own right now. But you, uh, Which you can play on my server if you want, but obviously there are other more populated servers around. And... Uh, if you play, uh, again, on my server things are not expensive and I don't take donations or anything like that. I don't force you to pay to keep playing on the game or whatever. So you, you're never going to have that problem. But again, in some other people's servers, you might do. Now, next place we want to go is the Peaches field. Okay, so I'm going to put a waypoint there. And I'm going to drive there off camera just so I don't bore you guys. But the idea here is, and be careful when driving with the vehicles because they do tend to kind of break really often so yeah be a bit careful with that uh, but then again going to the peaches field is a way to make money and it, again it's a legal way to make money you do not need a license for it you don't need anything as soon as you spawn in the game all you got to do is just go to the peaches field and collect sell some peaches simple as that really uh, th that's all there is to it now I just spawned in the game and obviously I have my inventory limits so I can only carry so many peaches with me so you must be asking yourselves, well, how do I increase that yield? And that's where the vehicle comes in. Now, I could have just gone there straight and picked up peaches, walked all the way over there through here, picked up the peaches and came, you know, walked all the way back, uh, assuming that you're on your own. But with a vehicle, it just makes this stuff go so much faster and much better. So obviously, you should have a vehicle. Not only that, but you can also fit peaches in the vehicle, which obviously increases your uh, carrying capacity by a lot. Again, I'll show you guys how to do that uh, in just a second, as soon as we get there. This is the first thing you should do. Now, uh, people also say, well, there is also an apple field, which is closer by, and that you can also do. Sure, if you want uh, less money, and it's closer by, you can just walk there, get yourself some apples while you wait 10-15 minutes in game to get yourself more money anyways. But honestly, peaches yield so much more money. So I'm going to get out now. And all you got to do when you get here is press spacebar or whatever is your action key. And then just press it again to gather peaches. That's it. I picked up three peaches. 
Now, three peaches uh, weigh three, whatever this is, let's just call it kilograms, uh, and uh, three out of 24. Now, each peach uh, is worth one in this case, but obviously that's not going to be like that when you start going mining and when you, when you start evolving and stuff. I picked up another three peaches, so let's do this again, and let's keep on doing it until my inventory is completely full. And then once it's completely full, I can sell most of these, but also I can eat them. So this is obviously sustainable food as well. And as you can see, my water meter is now at 90. My food meter is still at 100. Uh, now my inventory is full. As you can see, I got 24 peaches. Now, why this doesn't... Uh, um, why this doesn't use the, the, the actual armor inventory is beyond me. I don't know exactly. Can't answer that, but it does. Now, if you go to your vehicle and if you press the T button on your keyboard, this should bring the trunk inventory. Now, if you click on it, and you click here again and type in the exact amount that you have or whatever much you want and you put click store now you got 24 peaches in the trunk and you can go for more so as you can see now you can yield a lot more peaches than you just could whereas if i were without a quad bike i could only get the maximum of 24 having to head back all the way back walk or, or sprint and then coming back here again for more it can be really tedious so this is why it's so important to get a quad bike Anyways, I'll finish gathering all these peaches and then I'll return to... Uh, oh, my inventory is full again. So let's repeat the same process of uh, pressing T. I uh, don't think you can put this many. I don't know how much... No, you can't put this many. So let's say 5. No, I think that's 25. 24 is the maximum. Let's just put 1. 25. No, 25 is the maximum in there. And I got 23 with me, which is close enough. So, after we have that, and I guess uh, got another person joining up. Um, right, after we have that, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to press M on the map. And we're going to go to, where is it? Where is the market? Right here. Okay, if we go there, which I'll skip the trip, so don't worry, guys. We'll go sell the peaches. So, I'll just do that off camera. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, we're just about getting there. And... Actually, this should be it. So if I get out of here, and yep, there he is. He, there is the market guy. So if I click on him, as you can see, he sells a lot of stuff. And uh, what well, I'll get into that eventually. So for right now, all we want to do is click on our peaches, select 23 now to make 24. I'm gonna leave one in the quad bike so I can eat it, so you guys can see my uh, my food going up. But I'm going to sell at least 24, and that should give me 1,320, which is quite good. Now, before I do anything else, let me just buy something off him, which is a water ball. Um, yeah, I'll just buy the one. Why not? And I'm not going to drink it just yet, but uh, because it's only 90%, so I'm still good. I'll wait until it goes. The water can go up to 50%. One water ball can f fill up up to 50, and one peach can fill up up to 30 if I'm not mistaken so um, yeah that's pretty much it anyways guys so this is the basics of it um, what we've done in this video is we've uh, gotten ourselves some money uh, oh crap wrong button so we got now 3830 and you guys must be asking yourselves what are we gonna do with that money now what's the next step well the next step is up the stakes we're gonna go to the general store now where they sell a lot of stuff uh, well, if I can put there and then uh, what we're gonna do there is uh, you guys are gonna see when we get there and we're there okay so let's get out this vehicle and let's go to the general market now this guy will sell you most of the stuff in the game that you need obviously not everything but some cool stuff he sells anywho let's go talk to him what we're gonna get well first of all I want to get uh, one toolkit at least one now what is a toolkit for you don't have enough room for that item. Um, okay, no, because that goes to my inventory, I believe. And apparently I don't have enough room for it. Right. Well, we'll see that later then. Anyways, um, I suggest you get a toolkit, which... Honestly, it just... It, it says I don't have enough room. Uh, which is cool, though. It doesn't matter. But yeah, get yourself a toolkit. And the toolkit is very important in the game because it is supposed to um, 
repair your vehicles. And trust me when I say uh, you are going to break vehicles a lot. Um, I, I usually do. So, yeah, get yourself one of those. Uh, definitely recommend it. It's not too important. Um, but to begin with, if you're not very good at driving like I wasn't, I crashed so many times. It's ridiculous, honestly. I still do, so always carry one toolkit with you, please. As the, the same way, always carry some food and water with you, and perhaps even uh, medicates. Um, stuff happens, and things sometimes don't go very right for you. So, um, yeah, definitely. Anyways, I don't know why I ejected and left the thing running on, but it's okay. Uh, the second thing you want to do or is go to the clothing store. Now, why do you want to go to the clothing store, you, you ask? Well... Bec uh, for some odd reason this cuts my thing in half, for, I don't know why. Anyway, so what do we want from here? Well, we want backpacks, okay? And uh, why do we want a backpack? Well, of course we want a backpack to increase our uh, the amount of stuff that we can have. Yes, you can buy yourself clothes and stuff like that. Uh, you can if you want to. I, I don't care much about it. But anyways, um, what I suggest you buying is buy a backpack. Um, I have 3,000, so I could just get this Coyote, but this one perhaps would be better for you. But buy any backpack that you can buy. Um, 3,500, perhaps I have enough to buy that one. Yes, I do, luckily for me. Now, if you press Y, you'll see that your items went from 24 to 54. So that yielded a good 20 more spaces. So uh, from now, I can go get a lot more peaches. And that is the key. Now... I have I'll, the the next thing that you guys will want to do is keep on farming peaches. All right, keep going to the peaches field here up until you have enough money to start getting more upgrades. Now I will show you guys that on the next episode, uh, where it's going to be the next step. For now, I honestly suggest you guys to just keep getting peaches field as long as you keep to a speed limit, as long as you have a driver's license, keep to a speed limit and just get peaches, you should not be have a problem with the police. Now, you might have a problem with other players, but that's a whole different story. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very first video, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Subscribe, motherfucker.